Hello everyone, welcome to the Smart Life. Today I have the latest Wi-Fi 6 router from Xiaomi. This is the AX9000 Wi-Fi 6 router and Xiaomi claims that it can support up to 9000 Mbps maximum speed. This router is huge and I am not able to fit it in my small desk. So let's unbox it and see what is there inside first. So it comes in this huge packaging. So this is a foam packaging and the packaging is quite nice and we are supposed to open it like this. So let's open it. So this is how the packaging is done. As you can see, the foam packaging is quite nice. And this is the Wi-Fi 6 router AX9000. As you can see, it looks like a Star Wars spaceship. And these are the accessories. So let's take it out. Let's take out the router. So this packaging is really nice. I'll keep it aside. So you can see the router here. We can extend the antennas like this. So the router looks very nice and I think it has RGB lighting here and it also has active cooling. So there is a fan inside that will cool the router and let's check the accessories. And so and this is a 12 volt 4 amp adapter. So that is quite a lot of power and they supplied a standard CAT6 Ethernet cable and this is a user's manual. It will be in Chinese. So this is a quick setup guide. You can see the you can check out the visual indications and set it up easily. Anyways, I'll show you how to set up this router. So those are things that you get in the box. Now coming to the specifications of the router. It is a Qualcomm quad core processor of 2.2 GHz CPU and a dual core network processing unit of 1.7 GHz. And that is a total of six core processors. So that's quite nice. And the memory, the RAM is 1 GB. That is a huge amount of RAM. Uh, for the router and it has 12 independent signal amplifiers four of which are 2.4 gigahertz wi-fi that can reach up to 1148 mbps and it has a 5.2 gigahertz of four signal amplifier of 4800 mbps and a 5.8 gigahertz wi-fi signal amplifiers and uh, that is 2400 mbps it has an adaptive wan here you can see uh, this is a adaptive wan of 2.5 gbps and these are 1 gbps LAN ports and you can connect your WAN port here or here based on your convenience for example in my case I'll be connecting my WAN cable to this port because I want to use this to connect to my computer and my computer has a 2.5 gbps LAN so I'll be able to access and use this 2.5 gbps speed and others are 1 gbps ports and one important thing is we have the USB 3.0 interface so you can connect your hard drives for making a local NAS or any other storage services and it has a dedicated mesh button here so if you want to mesh with another Xiaomi router or Redmi router then you will be able to do it with this mesh button so you can pair up to 10 uh, Xiaomi or Redmi Wi-Fi 6 routers and the bandwidth as expected is 160 megahertz so I'll be using my 160 megahertz capable uh, device to test the uh, speed at those bandwidths it has all the other features like OFDMA and the uh, movie mode technologies for enhancing the speed so now let's try to set it up and uh, let's see how is the process so I'll connect to the WAN port which is 1 gbps WAN port and here is the power button so it has a physical power button this time and this is the power jack and this is the reset button so let's try to power it up so after plugging in the power supply we need to turn it on physically so it has a uh, LED indicators here and there are indicators here as well the system indicator and the Ethernet indicator so you have to wait for it to turn another color maybe blue so the system indicator has turned white here and the indicators here are flashing so let's try to connect to this router so I have connected the WAN cable to the 1 gbps WAN port if you want to connect to the 1 gbps WAN port you need to set up from the web interface otherwise if you want to connect to the 2.5 gbps WAN port then you can connect using the Mi Wi-Fi app so for that uh, since I'm connecting using the 1 gbps WAN port I'll be connecting using the web interface so first you connect to the 
uh, Wi-Fi of the AX9000 that is the RS70 and you can go to miwifi.com in your browser and you can set it up there you can uncheck the second one that is the data collection and go to next so here is asking whether you want to connect to the 1 Gbps WAN port or the standard 2.5 Gbps WAN port so this option is not available in the English Mi Wi-Fi app so you have to use the web interface for connecting using the 1 Gbps WAN port so let's go to the 1 Gbps WAN port so now it's asking for the password you type in your password and enable all the options like 1 gigahertz 160 megahertz bandwidth and it is telling that it is connecting using the 1 Gbps WAN port go to next now the setup is completed here are the Wi-Fi names and the passwords and it also has the 5 gigahertz game network so the 5g game network and then now the color has changed this is a beautiful rgb color indication and it has the 160 megahertz bandwidth uh, on the game network as well as the 4k qam i'll connect my computer to this uh, router using the 2.5 gbps uh, lan port now let's go to miwifi.com here you can enter your password these are the networks currently you can see three networks here 2.5 gigahertz 5 gigahertz network and the 5 giga gigahertz game network you can also translate this page and you can go to setup of the 5 gigahertz game you can select the channels and the bandwidth storage so you have you can enable or disable the usb 3.0 from here so if i connect the storage then it will be able to see the storage so i have this uh 120 gb usb 3.0 usb disk so let's connect it and you can also you can connect any hard drive or with the usb 3.0 interface that will be faster so it is telling that if you have a usb 3.0 interface enabled that it may affect your 2.5 gigahertz wi-fi and you can see here the usb storage is available uh, you can see that the total capacity uh, used is 51 gb and uh, out of the 120 gb hard drive and others are just uh, standard settings uh, from a xiaomi router and uh, you have the mesh network here you if you want to connect to a mesh node with another xiaomi wi-fi 6 or redmi wi-fi 6 router then you can do it from here also it's asking for us to add the new wi-fi router using the mi home app it seems we are not able to add the new router using the mi wi-fi app as you can see here your router does not support mi wi-fi app please use mi home app so we need to go to the mi home app and here you can see that it can add so you can start adding so the interface is in chinese so here it is asking to pair the router but the interface is in chinese so let's just follow the steps click here and here you can go to the one gbps wan port because i'm using that one instead of the 2.5 gbps so go to next so here you can enter your password and enable 160 megahertz bandwidth as before so the adding is completed as you can see here and you can click on the blue button so wait for the colors to change so the router is not supporting mi wi-fi app and it is supporting only the xiaomi mi home app so this is the mi home app and i'm able to connect to the wi-fi but the interface is in chinese so it is not very helpful so i think it is better for us to use the web interface for now until they make uh, changes to the language interface and i'm not able to connect using the mi wi-fi app now let's perform a speed, quick speed test uh, using the x9000 router the bandwidth of the speed test is limited by my isp speed my isp speed is around 400 to 500 mbps uh, upload and download so as you can see it is almost a maximum speed and this is the speed test and this is almost similar to my ax6000 that i have here and my ax3600 so in order to test the actual speed of the router i'll be using the 2.5 gbps port and i'll be using the iperf program using my computer my computer has 2.5 gbps lan port so i'll be using that and now let's check the wi-fi analyzer so if you go to wi-fi analyzer you can see that the current uh, 5 gigahertz network is only 80 megahertz but the other 160 megahertz bandwidth is the game channel so let's connect to the game channel enter your password 
so it's connected to the game and here you can see the maximum speed is 2400 mbps that is the maximum speed at this 160 megahertz bandwidth so that is actually same as the uh, ax6000 previously we have tested the same thing and it is almost the same speed so the, the major difference between these two routers will be when you have multiple devices i have started the iper server on my computer so here i have the iper program on my mobile let's try to measure the speed so the speed is 927 mbps download and the 891 mbps upload so this is just next to the router so i'll perform the speed test at different locations of my house and i'll compare it with my ax6000 router and the ax3600 router the speed test has been done and uh, i can see that the ax9000 has a much better signal strength compared to the ax6000 and the ax3600 the speed is not very different but the strength is more so you can get a better speed outside the house as well as in the next floor so if you physically compare the two routers here you can see the router uh, size and the form factor is very different this has a 12 signal amplifiers here and this one has uh, six uh, signal amplifiers so that is the main difference between these two routers so there was the review of the router i think uh, the x9000 has a very superior performance regarding the range because of the large amount of signal amplifiers and the higher power the power of this router is around 48 watts this one is 24 watts that is double and it has active cooling so it has a fan inside inbuilt uh, so we can expect a better cooling performance it has a usb 3.0 that is quite good and the 2.5 gbps uh, wan port is also quite useful similar to the ax6000 i hope you liked the review thank you for watching please consider subscribing i'll see you next time